Thanks to the media, many folks out there still believe Detroit's real estate is all about fixer-uppers and investment properties. But guess what? That couldn't be further from the truth. In reality, Detroit boasts several affluent, well-sought-after neighborhoods where home values soar past the $700,000 mark. In today's update, we're debunking the myths and shedding light on the hidden gems of Detroit's real estate scene. But I don't want to stop at Detroit. We'll also dive into the market updates of several of my favorite cities in Metro Detroit. By the way, I'm Day Shamsadeen, your local real estate expert with eXp Realty. I'm your go-to realtor for all things related to Michigan real estate, and I'll be guiding you through the latest market trends and updates for some of my favorite areas in Metro Detroit. Whether you're a seasoned investor, a first-time home buyer, or a homeowner considering selling your current residence, this will be information that you can use in your decision-making. As we make our way through these updates, please remember that I am here to be of service to you. So if you're ready to make a move in this area or you just even have questions, don't hesitate to contact me. As always, all my contact information is in the description below. Okay, let's get into it. So I generally service three counties, Macomb, Oakland, and Wayne. And we're looking at three cities in Macomb, two in Oakland, and one in Wayne, which is Detroit. Because I live in Macomb County, let's start there. But before we get started, as a refresher, let me explain some of the terms we'll mention today in this video. So we're gonna talk about the months of inventory. This tells us the amount of months it would take to sell every house currently active on the market based on the rate they've been recently selling. We're gonna talk about the list to sold price percentage. This tells us how close the final sale price was in relation to the seller's actual asking price. Then we'll talk about median days on market. This is the middle number of days the property was on the market. This is not the average, it's the middle number. So half your homes will be on the market for more time and half will be for less. Then we'll talk about the median sold price. This tells us the middle number of what homes actually sold for in the area and the median estimated property value. Again, it's the middle number <laughs> of estimated property values based on calculations of multiple proprietary algorithms. Okay? All right. In case you're wondering why I'm saying these are my favorite areas, I was born and raised in Detroit. What up, though? I currently live in Macomb, and I used to live in Rochester, which will forever be one of my very, very favorite places to live. And I spend a ton of time in Troy. Hey, Somerset. So again, starting with Macomb County, we're looking at Macomb, Michigan, Shelby Township, and New Baltimore. Now, as far as months of inventory, Macomb is at 1.48 months, so just about a month and a half of inventory. Shelby Township is at 1.24, and New Baltimore is at 1.42. So all of them are right around a month, month and a half of inventory. Then you have the list of sold price. Macomb is at 100.1%. Shelby Township is at 100.6%. So both of these are over asking as far as the list of sold price percentage. And then New Baltimore is at 99.6%. So all three cities, sellers are pretty much getting what they ask for. And it doesn't seem like it's taking a whole lot of time for them to do it because the median days on market for Macomb is 15, which again, median is the middle. So that means half the property sold at 15 days or more and half the property sold at 15 days or less. Now, Shelby Township is at 10. 10 days median days on market. And New Baltimore is a little bit of a different story. New Baltimore is at 42 days on market. So those homes are sitting a little bit longer, but there's still not a whole lot of competition for sellers and they're still pretty much getting what they ask for. And let's move on to the median sold price. Macomb is at 449,797. Shelby Township is at 369,950. And New Baltimore is a little higher at $399,900. The median estimated property value though for each area is Macomb is at $440,100. Shelby Township is at $409,210. And New Baltimore's median estimated property value is only $365,860. But recently, it looks like homeowners have been getting quite a bit more than that with that $399,900. 
So if you're a Macomb or Shelby, you'd probably do well if you needed to sell your home. Of course, there's not a ton of competition on the market since the full inventory could be sold in less than a month and a half. You have a high likelihood of your home being on the market for around two weeks, possibly less. And finally, buyers appear to be willing to pay at or above asking price in those areas. So if you're looking to buy in these areas, then it helps a lot to know what sellers are seeing and expecting so you can make the smartest, strongest possible offer. Now let's take a look at Oakland County's Rochester and Troy. As far as months of inventory, Rochester is at 1.67. So they have almost two months worth of inventory. If no more houses were added to the market, it would take a little over a month and a half for them to sell all the houses that are currently available. Troy is a different story. Troy is at 0.92, which means that if nobody added another house to the market, every house would be sold in less than a month. Less than a month, that's pretty good. Um, their list to sell price percentage, Rochester is at 101.6%, while Troy is at 101.4%. Both are doing well. It looks like property owners, when they place those houses on the market to sell, they're selling and they're getting over asking and they're not sitting on the market very long at all because both Rochester and Troy have a median of 10 days on market. 10 days on market. The median sold price. So in Rochester, the median sold price is at $548,250. Troy is at $378,000. The median estimated property value for Rochester and Troy, Rochester is $565,490 and Troy is at $459,390. So it looks like it's been the, the lower valued homes in Troy that have recently been selling. And that could easily be due to people selling older homes and moving into new construction and things like that. Now, let's take a look at Detroit. Detroit's numbers are significantly different from its suburban counterparts. Homes appear to sit on the market for a lot longer and the median property value is under 100K. But like I said before, that's not the full story of Detroit. Detroit is considerably larger than all of these cities and has a much wider range of demographic. While it's true Detroit was trem has tremendous investment opportunities, what often goes unmentioned are some of its spectacular historical communities. Looking at the city's overall median estimated property value, many wouldn't expect that some areas have home values like these I'm gonna tell you about. Detroit has 3.88 months of inventory almost four months of inventory. There's a lot of houses available on the market in Detroit. Now, this is some private sellers, but this is also going to be a lot of homes that are up for auction, a lot of homes that, you know, are at, um, that would be make great investment properties that are a much lower value, and they are going to probably sit on the market until the absolute right buyer comes along to pick them up. The list to sold price in Detroit though is at 96.3%. Now it's considerably lower than what we saw in the other cities, but it's still considerably good. I mean, it's, it's very close to what would be asking at 96.3%. Um, median days on market, Detroit is at 32, which again, Detroit is gonna have a vast array of property types, and there's gonna be a lot of homes that are gonna sit on the market that are not necessarily incredibly desirable to a massive audience, but are just waiting for the right buyer to come along and scoop them up. The median sold price in Detroit is $76,530. Very different from what we just saw in Macomb County and Oakland County. And then the median estimated property value in Detroit is $91,000. Now, like I said before, that is not the full story. Let's take a look at some of the more affluent, more sought after neighborhoods in Detroit. We're not gonna get into the months of inventory, the list of sold prices and things like that for these specific neighborhoods, because since they're smaller areas, there's not a lot of data in recent time to be able to accurately provide those calculations. But let's take a look at these neighborhoods. You have Palmer Woods, where the median home value is about $718,000. 
Indian Village over on the east side. It's median home value of $614,260. Corktown, $611,190. Detroit Golf, which is a very, very small neighborhood sitting right at the Detroit Golf Club. The median home value is about $468,000. And then Sherwood Forest is going to also have a median home value of $411,000. I will definitely dig into these neighborhoods a little more in another video, but just so you know, Detroit is not all investment properties. It is not all fixer uppers. There are some really, really lovely homes that any of us would be more than happy to reside in in Detroit. I hope you've gained valuable insight and newfound appreciation of the diverse opportunities the Detroit market has to offer. Remember, whether you're contemplating putting a home up for sale, looking for your next home, or seeking investment opportunities, understanding the market of each area is going to be key to making informed decisions. If you're ready to embark on your real estate journey or simply have questions, I'm your girl. I'm Day Shamsadeen. I'm here to help. Just get in touch. Thanks so much for watching. Bye.